Welcome back everyone to another new game on the channel, a game that we've played a couple weeks ago through a demo, and that is Pacific Drive. It is essentially a open world survival game that relies on you building up a station wagon. So let's just jump right in, sit back and relax and uh, enjoy. In 1947, the Olympic Peninsula became the staging ground for a promising new technology. As rumors of its utopian creation spread, so did stories about overnight evacuations and solved disappearances and unnatural encounters. In 1955, the government walled off a section of the peninsula to establish the Olympic Exclusion Zone. For 30 years, the zone's borders grew to, until the government withdrew and sealed every access point. What happened inside was never disclosed. Bro, so, I believe we've read through all that before in a demo. So I'm not sure if the demo is going to be exactly how the game starts, but we'll see. And it is. So, um, it's still kind of off putting for me at least to be able to look around like this in your car while driving it. But at the same time, I'm intrigued by it, and I can pretty much get used to it. I mean, we've already played through the demo, so I'm fairly used to it already, but, uh, yeah. This, uh, I don't know if I said this in the, when I was playing the demo, but this reminds me of driving through one of the huge national parks in California. As it starts raining and if you've never been to any of those national parks and it's just not in California it's probably in various states like Yellowstone Park I've never been to but I can imagine it is because it's a massive park but there are sections within the park that you can go to that sometimes take like an hour or two to drive to within the park which is crazy I remember when I went to Kings Canyon in what was Kings Canyon, uh, one of the three parks in Northern California, and it's uh, I remember driving through it just to get to one specific area. It, it took me an extra like hour and a half just to get to that area within the park. I mean, it was fine because the views were like awesome, but yeah. Toggle headlights. Let's see, we are by the way playing obviously on the PC. I thought about getting it on a PS5, but I actually enjoyed it a lot playing on the keyboard. One side of me is thinking, maybe I shouldn't have played the demo to not know anything about how this game starts. But at the same time, the demo was what sold me on the game in the first place, so it is what it is. Oh 
boy. Alright, so our car is pretty much gone. Blown into pieces. So we are uh, screwed. Yeah. Like I was saying, when I first put the demo, I always think that this uh, style, this look of the game, is really nice. It's part of the reason why I fell in love with it. And by the way, we do intend on playing the entire game. As you know, I am a sucker for good sci-fi games. Oh, someone out there? Hello. Oh. Uh, what a swan! Eh? Uh, never mind. Francis, the radar's acting up again. You were supposed to tune up this piece of junk years ago. <laughs> this is the station wagon. You're going to get put the wheel back on. Final wheel. Oh. Stall summer tire. Get in the car. Start the engine. Get the safety. Put it in drive. Sector B. Do you read me? Uh, I'm picking up your distress signal in the outer zone. Uh, it looks like you're somewhere around Sector E. Hey, Francis, come here. Yes, it's urgent. Leave that interferometer alone for a second. Something is out there. So, we were able to actually know it. Hey, we got a live one. Hey, do you got me? Working? They, 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 they don't have a transmitter. We won't hear a thing back. Look, hmm. But if they're stranded, could they mean they're from outside? No. They're a preacher. Hey, hey, how did Hang you on. get through the barrier wall? No one's gotten into the zone in ages and looked to tell about it. I don't it. have and if we don't get them to safety, this one oh, won't either. Yeah. That's a good point. Check hey, your trunk for fuel can. Is it hard by your car? Oh, it's uh, oh shit! I forgot to put it on park. God. Life and fuel from the broken down car. <laughs> that can happen. Alright. Fill your tank and drive east to find shelter. Let's... Let's go. Did I just turn it off? Go. Go. Whoa, 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 wait, hold the phone. There it is again, that flip on the spectrometer. I've seen that wave fall before, but where? No kidding. Could it be? A remnant? That can't be. There hasn't been one in decades. Look at that spectral fingerprint and tell me that doesn't match the remnants exactly. 
No, no, no. What, what we should be looking at is how fast this preacher seems to be moving. Huh. You know, you know if I didn't know better, I'd say they're going about the speed of a... No way. No way to not tell me. They found a remnant and it's a car this time? Holy Ooh, Christ! Come on, don't, don't, don't. don't. Drive off the road. I killed to know how a combustion engine still chugging away out there. Okay, let's not get ahead of ourselves. First, the preacher needs to get to safety. Then god, oh my god. That car's it or not. In my heart of hearts, I already know. Then back, baby. Power sliding and, and all that stuff. Go on and let yourself in. I hope he ain't gonna like you poking around in there, but better to face a bad side than let the zone eat you alive. Now we are arriving. It seems to be an auto shop. Find a way into the building. This away. Right? Oh, I don't know how to put it away. Power on, flip the breaker switch. Pick up the backpack from the table. Ah, who's there? The shop. Got the mechanic eyes. That said, hang on by the map. Basement door. Um, open headset with. Is that backspace or? Oh my god. I think that was tab, maybe. All right, crude door. To checklist. Uh, all right, so we need scrap metal, 
three scrap metal, three four plastic, three duct tape, and two glass shards. Okay. Other items from the abandoned car behind the garage for your checklist. Search the abandoned car's trunk. I oh, need to pry it open with a pry bar. Quick slot, right? Or just a quick oh, there we go. Okay, so we have a bunch of items here two glass shards and three road flares. Dumpster by the garage door for future items you're unable to craft. Okay. Uh, so this is the scrapper. From what, from, from what I remember in the demo, this thing is able to just basically turn everything to scrap. <laughs> That's why it's called scrapper. All right. Um, craft the abandoned cars, wheels, panels, and doors. Bunch of plastic, metal, and duct tape. I believe we can also get some of that gas to siphon it. That. Oh wait, do I... It has all its wheels, right? Oh, it's a flat tire. Let's just scrap the abandoned car's wheels, so... Right. Some more gear, rubber. That. That. Another. Actually, I'm... I'm, I'm hoping there's a tire in it. I don't remember. Maybe they changed it since the demo, but... Yeah. That tire. Alright. That was it. Craft a crude door in the shop. We got enough here. All that. Get the repair putty from the locker. Repair putty. Transfer that. There's a tire here as well, which we're gonna have to fix that flat tire we have. Right. Then flip that. These are repair putty to repair the car. Structural parts. That. I wonder what the equivalent uh, repair putty is in the real world. Just something that just for, uh, gets rid of rust. That. That. What else is there? I guess this door. No. It's not that. Is it a bumper? Yeah, it's a bumper. So we got that. Fix the flat tire. Okay, scan the flat tire. So. 
prepare to fight by crafting and using a ceiling kit. This time I'm going to uh, craft a ceiling kit. So I didn't do that last time in the demo. Uh, ceiling kit, we need just one duct tape. We have the other supplies. I need to find the duct tape. Where can I find duct tape? I need some duct tape. It's not in this locker. It's door. Is there duct tape in here? Nope, nothing in there. Duct tape in here. You have to like scrap it. I don't think this will have duct tape, but let's see. I highly doubt it. Okay, so it's electronics, of course, and metal, which makes sense. I mean, if we can't find any duct tape, I'm just gonna do it. The other way, use a tire in the uh, in the locker because I'm not finding any duct tape. All right, well, all right. Let's do that. There we go. Get that off. Okay. Drop that. I pick that up. Oh, there we go. Alright. Fix the loose wheel. Scan the loose wheel. This one. Put the mechanical kit. Or mechanics kit. What? Oh. Then All right. I'll fit the car. I'll fit the car. Oh. Fill it up with gas. Oh no, that's cardboard boxes. Install craft mat in the trunk. Install oh. arc device There's in the passenger seat. Type of mine in the garage, the arc device. Hook it up to your car, wherever it'll fit. Arc device. Oh. Okay. Got that going. This beauty won't just be your tour guide. It's your North Star and the only way back to safety. Heck, you should consider it the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit if you plan on staying alive. That's how important this thing will be to you. Yes, that's my very own invention. I'll tell you more about it if you live long enough to use it. Your first aid kits from the locker. I'm wondering if we can also paint that car because it's definitely needed a new paint job, among other things. Alright, first aid kit from the locker. Can I you know, rearrange all this like automatically? Hmm. 
Okay, store items for your drive in the car trunk. Just transfer everything. There we go. Flares in there. Access should keep the flares. Four items you need to drive in the car trunk. Oh, the scrapper as well. Scrapper, something else. Road flare, first aid kit, fuel can. That. Pick up the gear, blueprint, find a front garage door. Pick up the impact hammer, blueprint, find a front garage door. Fuel your car. I think it's always great to have your, your own personal uh, fuel, fuel tank in the garage. Instead of us having always having to siphon and gas. Alright, throw the switch to charge the battery. Before I do that, I want to see something real quick. Because. Okay, so you can. That's a repair putty. Okay, this is. Wow, this is all specific for, like, different parts of your car. I mean, obviously we know about the, the doors and your bumper, headlights, but they have, like, a lot of stuff. Alright, but I was looking for... So they don't have a back door for your car. Unless we have to unlock it. I'm not sure. Right. This is zone. Within these borders, all matter has lost the ability to hold a constant physical state. What that means is the shape, size, and makeup of just about everything constantly changes mile of grass can turn into 10 miles of swamp in the blink of an eye and it does constantly it's caused by something we call instability we're completely surrounded by it and once you've watched it chew through entire mountain ranges you'll understand that you don't want to get anywhere near it we can only survive in here within pockets of stability that's what you're standing in now and mm. that's what you're seeing mapped on the route planner if we're going to find you a way out of the zone You'll need to build a new antenna. Until then, you won't be able to detect stabilized routes beyond your immediate area. So, you've got to go hunting for parts, and that means taking a drive. Go on, pick a route. The Octavice in your car will then show you where you need to go. Off you go. Make a left out of the garage and follow the access road. It was a three-hour drive. That's what I was saying at these big national parks. It takes a while to drive through these enormous parks in real life all right well for now this is going to be our look of the car i do want to paint it i do plan on it doing that at some point all right get on the road Is our tire? Hold on. Oh. Well, I mean. Okay, now nah, deal with it later. I took it off because I was like, the tire isn't in like tip top shape, but it is what it is. Let's go. It's 
so I don't remember if like time passes in real time or it's just based on the zone you're in it'll be night in this zone or it'll be daytime in this zone we'll see all right Radio station residential, damp forest, outer zone. Okay, newbie. I'll keep this simple. Don't want to overwhelm that little brain of yours. You'll need a few things to rebuild the antenna at the garage. First on the list is plasma. The woods are littered with plasma generators. Look for a research trailer or a spot tower. That's those antenna things zapping you when you get too close. One. Both are always accompanied by plasma generators. The arc device is picking up on some plasma generators nearby. Your headset has a built-in scanner. Use it on the plasma generator Scrapper. and it'll figure out the tools you need. Thank you, madam. Alright, I think that's all we need right now is just a scrapper with us. Um like materials and craft replacement parts. Alright, so we got that. Thanks for that. Is this a fabric? Okay. Nine volt battery. Okay. Anything else? Pressurized cartridges. Chemicals. Gas cylinder. And a lap heater. Hmm. Probably a bunch of scrap metal, some electronics you want to get, copper wire, and more stuff. This just gonna be like gathering a bunch of shit throughout the course of the game. At this point, I used to do that in like Fallout. Three, where I got over encumbered. Like what? Can't. Did I not? Oh, I already scanned it. More stuff. Now we can check out this building. chemicals and that's it can't read that hmm it's all empty all right I think wait what, what do we need to make the hammer actually Okay, we only need one more gear. Oh, wait. To get a gear, we gotta make the scrap metal. We gotta use the scrap metal. Alright, so we have enough now. Now we have an impact hammer. Yes. Use it on the plasma generators. Alright, and we got the plasma and a bunch of stuff. Bunch of metal. Use it on this one. Now we are looking. I don't remember. Well, let's check it out anyway. There's stuff down there. Or even on? No, it's not. I don't know. I don't remember because. The first car I ever drove in my life was a, um, was a gray Oldsmobile. It was my grandfather's. That's what he taught me. Look at you. That's how I learned how to drive in that car. Hey, grow so fast. But Don't the reason I say that. Be back at the hold on. Been a long time, old gal. Didn't think we'd uh, talk again after that whole Sasquatch incident. Yes, I was hoping to go another decade without hearing your voice again. 
<laughs> what did you finally talk Francis to death? <laughs> Hello to you too, Oppy. Oh, and no, I'm still here. Yeah, what I was saying was like, let me transfer all this stuff. No. Okay, yeah. Anyway, what I was saying was, um, I don't know in those old type of vehicles, like the station wagon there, those like 70s, 80s cars. I don't know if you can put your car in, you can switch the, the car from park to driving, etc. Without turning it off, you probably could in those old school cars as opposed to the new cars nowadays. You can't do that. At least I don't think you can. I can't do it on my car. Let me take that. Let me know in the comments if you can or can't. I need those flares. What did I do? Scanning for warp location. Destination too close to what? Let me get that. I guess we can just take all this metal. I am noticing that also. Scrapper's durability, what I assume that bar at the bottom of it is going down, so I need to like repair this at some point. That's all we can take. Oh, no, hold on. There is a tire here too that's actually better than the one we have currently. Hey, uh, uh, driver, I bet you're dying to hear all about the remnants by now. Can you not? I'm a little busy trying to keep them alive. I'll keep to the basics, I promise. They deserve to know what they're getting into. Fine. I'm giving you 60 seconds. That is not nearly enough time to get... 55 seconds and counting. Okay, okay, okay. The remnants, in short, they're old objects that do all sorts of weird things. They bind themselves to people, and, and you're the latest victim. You and the car are inseparable now, so get acquainted. Once the remnant is bound to someone, they become gradually more obsessed with it. It takes over the victim's mind until they go crazy and run off into the zone with it. Mm. No one has ever been able to resist its siren call. That fixation is probably worming its way into your brain as we speak. This is the first time we've ever got our hands on one. Uh, but we know all about the past remnants, and oh gosh, this one time it materialized as an old copper kettle, and the tea that came out of that thing, it was... And now, I'm splitting the transmissions going to your receiver. <laughs> Anything critical to your immediate needs will broadcast directly and immediately to your radio and headset. Anything not mission critical will be on a low priority frequency. Those transmissions will be recorded and indexed for you to listen to at your leisure. And by low priority, I mean just about everything that comes out of Tobias's mouth. <laughs> I was trying to take the tire out, but for some reason it won't let me take the tire. It says canned food. Take that. Like this. Actually, no, it goes up there. It's in here. Take that. I don't understand why she's so mean, by the way. I mean, we're helping her. Get some more information, do research. And you know, think about she's so mean to her as well as other people. It's obnoxious. Alright, I think we are done here. Otherwise, let me put the materials in that box. Still don't understand why we can't take that. Maybe we have to bring the tool with us. I don't know. Or maybe, let me see something. That in there, that in there. No need to carry this.
Can't. So like a brand new tire, unless we have to use a scrapper to break it off. I for a second there thought somebody was staring at us. Oh, it's time to go. <laughs> it's time to go. It's time to go. We need three more plasma. And what I assumed earlier is the case uh, as still looking for those plasma days. generators. Look for glowing S containment units scattered about in the woods or at the base of the spark tower anomalies. What I'm gathering from that thing is we can't go under it or it will target us, right? Yeah. So don't drive into the blue light. No. Don't damage our car, please. Fuck. It's just going to damage our car. I need to get this hammer. Stop doing that to our car. Alright. Should be enough. Stop it. Just need one more plasma. What happens when we could just repair it actually. Right? Or maybe not. How long that's gonna last in our car, but it's whatever. Let's go over there now. I actually want to drive a bit, park a bit further away this time. What's this? I don't like these <laughs> these sounds you just randomly hear. Oh god! Yeah, kind of lost some health there. Well, it looks like you're near one of the old gorilla radio stations. That ought to be prime pickings for antenna parts. I've loaded its approximate location to your map. Look for an antenna tower uh, up on a hill somewhere. Mm. Okay. Obviously, canned food heals you. I could go for the third one. For extra... Extra resources, but... Actually, you normally do that. I'm just gonna store it away. Trunk. I did not mean to do that. All right. Looks like I could put this as well. What's that? Look. Do you? Oh, oh hold it. My my. Where are our manners? Uh, driver. We never introduced ourselves. Not really. Tobias Barlow, former Artem maintenance manager. Oh, and um, here with me is Dr. Francis Cook. I was a R&D scientist researching limb technology right here in the zone. We live right in the mid zone. Just, just a hop, skip, and a jump over another big old yes. wall from where you're at. 
Oh, and, and that old bat over there? That's Dr. Ophelia Turner, former director of research and development herself. The mother of limb technology, the maven of electromagnetism. That's enough. Resident party pooper. Okay, good to know. Thank you for the introduction. Smash this. Oh. I don't know why I thought something was standing behind me. I don't like this stuff floating around me. Something inside. Can we use a scrapper to break the chain? What about the hammer? Try this. Okay, that does work. There better not be anything in here. I don't like this at all. Danger, danger. I'm saying danger because of stuff floating around, or is it uh, danger because we've lost health? Oh, that's good. I'm taking all that. Taking a repair kit. I need to use a flashlight or the flares. this toolbox take all that what the fuck is that uh, I don't like it I don't like it. it. Looked like it was a dummy or something. But it was glowing red on it for some reason. Let me go back in there, stop being a bitch. Um. Yeah, it looks like a dummy. Anomaly. Horace. The dictaphone recording office of Dr. Richard Preble. Circa 1976. Hi, Christina. Hi. How are you? So, um, it turns out you were right. We've had reports of several regions of the zone now, and they're all very similar. We've had these dummy things out in the wilderness, and um, we also have them inside abandoned houses. We also have them in gas stations on the road on top of signs. Our report here says on our roof, we spotted about 600 now. The file catalogs each and every one. Oh, and you're quite right about the other thing too. Yeah, I know what happens when someone touches one. We all got plenty of data on that. So I'm um, going to be applying for a position in Portland now. I've done my review. It was a great time being contracted here. For sure. But I'm not sure I want to work at Arda full time, you know? It's um it's very strange here. Oh fuck. It's draining our health to be here. Alright. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. What is that scratching sound? Oh, it's that thing over there. Alright, I need to use a first aid kit. We got three of them. Let me transfer my shit over the... Uh, oh, nope. Over there. First aid kit. All right. I 
if we go down this road, what's it looking like? We are here. There's houses down there. That's to see what's down there. Gotta avoid this thing, whatever it is. Okay. Is it gonna cross the road? It does. Can we go into that building? No, we can. So I could just park my car further back. Oh my god, my parking skills are so terrible. Park right here, turn this off. Enter into the danger zone. What in the fuck is that thing? Can I scan it? Yes, I can. Abductor. Alright. Dear Maggie, once again, I miss you and the kids so much. I'm sorry I haven't written sooner, but it's been crazy out here. I have a few moments right now, so I figured it would be good to put pen to paper. I hope you don't mind a hand, the handwriting being so wiggly, but me and the guys are in a bit of a pickle right now. You see, our van got pulled up into a tree. I'm afraid I can't explain exactly what happened, top secret things at all, but we're safe. Trust me on that. You also have two hours to wait before rescue comes, hanging nifty feet, hanging 50 feet above the ground, and right on the ridge. I'll send this and write you a much better letter after, but in the meantime, here's a picture. I sketched it out while we were waiting. If there's one thing we have up here, it's a heck of a view. Love always, Joe. Okay. So we... that thing pretty much grabs you to pick you up. Alright. Yeah. Use a flare. Light this place up. Alright, a crate. No supplies in here. Might be a dummy in here. This is the bathroom. More fabric. It's a locked locked cabinet. I have to break this open with the hammer. Yes, distract the anomaly with a light source. Oh no! I didn't want to do that. You're not coming here. Why did they go way over here? Good to know you could distract it with light. Let's go, 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 go. Oh, it's another one right there. Alright, further down there. Let's see. Further down there, I don't see. Oh, it's, we could see what's down there. There we go. Looks like it's a house or a building. It's more scrap metal to get from these cars. this oh my god I don't know what that sound means I do see a bunch of uh, stuff it 
there's another gas station over here too. Actually, I'm gonna park it right here. Pick out my hammer. Just gonna watch his patterns. Oh, it's gonna go that way. Next. I'm assuming. Fuck, I'm scared. Shit. Alright, we're good now. All that. Sounds are very distracting. Really good sound design, but at the same time, it's like very. makes me very nervous. Am I in danger again? So it's my health? Wait, my health is going down again. Is this radiation? I think so. I can't go in there. This has pretty much been ransacked. It's a big MRE. Over some health. I keep hearing things shuffling around and storming me off. What is the red light for? SSR SR meeting minutes one. What? Oh. It's like an agenda. Okay. I think that's all that's in here. Okay, nothing there. Alright. And also get gas too, so it's a little bit of gas. I think that was hitting me with radiation. Just getting gas. Parked on the wrong side, but it's fine. I think we're getting fully off course of where we need to go, so. So we're currently. Oh no, we're fine actually. We were, just took a shortcut. Alright, is there anything over there of interest? No. Didn't look like it. Oh, those fucking dummies. Fucking dummies. Alright, so heading over to the main objective. Closing in on it. And I think that's what I heard earlier is this thing coming out the ground. Get the protection compromised. Fix that damn tire. So, oh, so I see the 
This is the uh, meter for that. I'll need to repair soon. What is this in front of me, though? On the left that I'm staring at, that I'm highlighting. Abilities equipped. Oh, you can get abilities for your car? Okay, that's, that's dope. That is dope. It's so like maybe like a boost or power slide or whatever. Right. In any case, we have a ride. TP trade for food. Okay. Time to get moving. The instability's ticking up by the second. But you can't get back the way you came. The instability makes all routes one way. And that's where my Octavice comes into play. It'll get you back to the garage, but it needs to be charged first. And to do that, you'll need anchors. Take a look at the Octavice display. It maps all anchors in the nearby area. Find an anchor and Feed it to the Octavice to charge it. Uh, but don't you worry your pretty little head about how it works. We'll be out of here soon, so there's You're no reason being to learn more about Lindy. Very mysterious. I need more information than that. Come on. There's another spare tire which I can freaking use. So we can put this in our device. Use our device map to locate and drive to an anchor site. Okay, so... Can I craft another tire? Oh, I can, okay. I think they replaced this one. Oh my damn it. Alright. That in there. Hey, I'll be like look, I, I keep thinking the way you're helping our friend here right now seems positively helpful. I seems like me. You're looking to turn a new leaf or something? The only thing I want to look at is a twelve year old whiskey. And the <laughs> back of this preacher's head when I send them packing. But isn't it worth taking a detour to run just a tiny little test? Can't think of a worse way to spend my time. Please. I've seen you manipulate waveforms with your right hand and knock back a double oh, with your a left. Creep there. Or am I to understand you've <laughs> lost your touch? What I'm understanding is that you won't shut the hell up until I test this remnant. Why is she so mean? Fine, stop crowding my frequency. What? Wait, really? Hoppy, darling, you never give in this easily. What's what's going on? Francis? Uh, yes? How have you not thrown him to the bunnies by now? <laughs> bunnies? 80 years old and only getting sharper by the day. You're a legend. You're a role model. I'm giving you 10 seconds to get out of my... Okay, okay, uh, we're signing off. Hey, driver, good luck out there. Uh -oh, and watch out for the bunnies. They are a doozy. Bunnies. So bunnies them like mannequins that I've been seeing. It's a bunny. Okay. Alright, so we now we can go to the big one. Through here. Right? Here. Let's see more mannequins. Oh, that is so creepy. Uh, 
Uh, so it's to the left of us. There's a... There's this facility right there. Alright. Take out my hammer. Nope, nobody's here. Like, I like it. That. That. enough. Alright, now we need to get there, so let's get back, back in our car. I've just been driving with the door wide open. It's terrible. Alright, so yeah, it's definitely that. damn thing. Anchors are a source of enormous but extremely Those unpredictable energy. Like glowing balls oh. of magic, but it's limb tech through and through. Don't be scared. They haven't exploded in anyone's face recently. Wow. It can be extremely unpredictable energy. You can feed them to the arc device in the passenger seat to extract that energy. Once the device is powered to a certain level, it will be able to open a gateway to get you back to the auto shop. The amount of anchor energy needed to open the gateway will vary by junction. But as long as you make it through the gateway, you'll capture the energy you used to open it. That energy is also used to create items and equipment at the fabrication station. Try to bring back as much as you can. Alright. But it will immediately collapse the stability around you. So only activate when you are absolutely ready to leave. You do mm. not want to get caught in the storm that follows. Mm, this one. Fuck. Oh, that thing is like the right on us. Sky. Drive into it. Yes, it looks like hot death, but it's so much better than getting scrambled by the instability. Let's go. Oh! Oh, I thought we were driving off a cliff. Oh my god. Jesus Christ, my car. Here goes. All right, made it back safely. Oh, well, well, you're alive. We're certain if the zone didn't get you, that gateway would. Did I not mention that you're the first human I've sent through that thing? I mean, they've been rodents, but it's not like it's completely untested. But anyway, it worked. So, you should have made it back with everything you collected out there. That's the beauty of the gateway. 
It's the only way to get back with all your marbles intact. Now, take those parts you found into the back room. I'll let you use my fabrication station. For now. That station will concoct ways for you to rig up anything from roof racks to flare guns. Assembling an antenna with those parts you brought back should be easy as pie. But it requires anchor juice to work its magic, so bring back as many as you can. And just because I haven't used that garage in decades doesn't mean you can trash the place. Mess up my equipment and I'll throw you to the anomaly so quick you'll get whiplash. We clear? Don't be so mean. Rico won't use impact hammer. I think our hammer just broke. Fuck. Vargas auto vac. What's that? What's the point of inventing all these new technologies if you can't use them to spruce things up a bit? It is to a tidier future. Huh. Okay. What is this for? What's that yet? So we got a scanning antenna. Okay. With all the antenna on the roof. We gotta make a new impact. Hammer. Antenna signals coming through loud and clear. Give it a moment to initialize. Small oh, handbrake. The handbrake from the back room storage locker. I just realized. Actually, hold on. Let me dump all this stuff into my uh, storage. Okay. Damn it. I mean, I could just carry it in my hand, but it's whatever. It's all handbrake in the engine bay. How do we... Oh, I just took the engine out. Oh my god. Cool that you could do that, though. Install it though. Oh, wait. There we go. Make sure to empty your trunk before heading back out. You'll need the space. Search the dumpster for something you can help you unload the trunk. Is that paint? Or oh, repair putty. What the fuck? Chemicals, canned food. Through the door. Transfer trunk. And we're patched. Everything's in working shape, more or less. 
I've hooked up the antenna to the route planner. Give it a look after you're done peeping through my garage. Where? Root panel. Chemicals. Door. All this stuff and I'll put it here. Okay. Door here, but we don't really need the door right now. We could just put in the transfer kit, right? Our case. Get all this food to get some health back, though. Alright. Why can I not pick this up? Oh, there we go. This can actually go here. Then... Would this go... God, we could do a front door. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Where this go? In the locker? I guess it just stays here. Gotta go to serum, but uh, what's that? Gotta repair this. No, I picked up um, some repair putty. Oh, it's in my bag. Is that get that? Need a panel on that side, too. I, mean, I could probably make a uh. Probably make one. Yeah, I can make one. Yeah. Put it here. Nice. And can I please get get this car paint job, please? First aid, repair body, repair tire, headlight. What's this? Fuck, we can't paint it. I'm not seeing one. Alright. I do want to see if I can get a bumper for the back, though. I think there was one. Oh, I gotta make an impact hammer too. I need a. Oh. 
Give me that. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I got an impact hammer. There's the bumper I was seeing. This is also a hand vac, which... Using most of the basic principles as a domestic vacuum cleaner through... Though without any regard for safety constraints, this device allows for the swift collection of just about any solid or sem semi-solid substance. It would try to suck up anything small it is pointed towards. Interesting. Um... I'm gonna carry this. Put that to the back of our car. Nice. Ugly, but it's nice. And then, I don't think we need any more panels. Yeah, we're good on that. This car is so damn ugly. I want to pick this up though. Whatever this might be. Oh shit. Oh, that makes. I see now, okay. Alright, well. Can I repair this thing? Um, there was one in here, a pair. Yeah, I already had it in my bag. Can I not repair? Let's have to drop it. Then use a repair kit. Does it not work like that? Okay, it doesn't. Alright, cool. Alright, let me put this back. And put that in my trunk. This, this, that. Actually, I'm gonna keep that. All right. So I'm going to first aid. Headlights in good condition. No, they're not. Um, we don't have a headlight. Ill. I mean, it is what it is. All right, pack, fill tank, repair car. Jumper. Did we have one of those? Oh. 
Okay, flare. I don't have a battery jumper. Okay, well, duct tape. Plus, we just gotta make one. Yeah, okay. Just need one more player, and that's it. Or we could just make one. Can we? No, oh, we can't. So I'm not seeing one. Alright, well, we may have to just go without it, because I remember using a number of them. I'm going to pack this. Well, I mean, we don't have to move it out then. I'm not seeing a flare. Right. Well, it is what it is. Also, I could, um, there was one more repair putty, yeah. Sorry, I know this is like not too entertaining as I get prepared to go out again. I gotta make sure that we, uh, Prepared. Oh, this bumper's in terrible condition. Headlights in back condition too. I think that's mainly it. I know this door also could use something. There's spare. I just realized. Oh, wait, never mind. Oh, summer tires. Summer tires are probably more higher in durability than spare tires, which will make sense. All right. I'm done here. All right, let's go. Fine with this. Actually, no. Oh, wait, what's this? Handbrake slot. With one swift tug of a lever, you can lock up your car's rear wheels and convert some of your momentum into a skid. You may even impress some on any anomalies that are watching. Okay. Cool. Great. Uh, find your way into town. Did I make the waypoint? Ready to make this remnant verification a one and done thing? I'm sending you to visit Colossal Cappy. If that old anomaly doesn't induce electromagnetic resonance in your car, then we're free from Tobias's fever dreams and we can get you out of here. 
Six With hours. What the? Fixed, you can now detect stabilized road junctions in the outer zone. You've got a stable route heading straight to Cappy's front door, but the energy readings are off the roof. I advise you not to take the zone lightly. You better gear up, or you may not Need survive the trip. Need to make scrapper. Which would make my life easier. So, your call. Pretty sure there's a way to like just repair them instead of just making another one. Just not seen. A six hour drive though, but you know, it is what it is. Alright, find your way into town. Hopefully we'll be fine on gas too. It's this one. You drive? Unless we gotta drive here first. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Back roads, remote, damp forest. Oh, oh, why is that red? So we gotta get all the way to the opposite side. Turn the wipers on. Oh. What the fuck was that? Go straight ahead. Remnants. Oh, you know what my favorite remnant was? The record player. You remember Francis? You, you play records normally, but then every now and then you hear weird voices. Like that one time it was my fifth grade lunch lady. <sighs> this again. Uh, you know, <laughs> the sooner I get this out of my system, the sooner you can have some peace and quiet. <sighs> Fine. Hey, had a girl? Oh boy. Hey, driver, listen. Of all the legends, of all the stories that have spawned in the zone, <laughs> trust me, there are so many. Remnants? One of the best. I'll start from the beginning. Sorry. In 1964, the fuck strange is that? objects began appearing throughout the zone. And they were uh, shabby, cast off things that were imbued with strange properties. Uh, a broken microwave that froze food instead of warming it. A rusty can of paint that produced every color in existence. Always so out of place that people were irresistibly drawn to them. Yeah, you know, like a mysterious car in the forest, right? Mm-hmm. All right, well, we're cruising. What is, what is it? What is that? What? What? What the fuck is that? mentioned that the remnants bind themselves to people like the cars done with you and how that led to obsession these obsessions always started innocently a, a, a sudden interest in model train sets or collecting old road signs the objects themselves would exhibit anomalous properties but what did not in the zone right that in itself wasn't cause for alarm a gas this station but could only grow worse until its victims could think of nothing else but the remedy. left here. And they always ended with spiraling into madness and disappearing in a mad chase after something. Let me check out this gas station. Sound fun, but better to know what you're up against. Could the remnant's victims still be out there somewhere? I mean, we never heard from them again, but it doesn't mean they all died, right? If the madness didn't kill them, then the zone did. <laughs> anyway, it's been 20 years since the last remnant sighting. We thought they were long gone. Bathroom. Until you found the car. Alright. We're in another gas station. It's kind of creepy. Over 
think we're good. Deco Vin. What the hell is a Deco Vin? They say fashion is fickle, but this vending machine can still cough up a surprise or two. Okay. I wonder if you're already feeling the remnants effects, driver. How's Have you that? been fixating on the car, maybe? If only we knew where remnants there. came from. Then we'd have a place to start on how to help you. Bring cosmetic so items back to the anomalies. garage to equip them. Okay. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The anomalies we know, they're creepy, crawly, and weird. Like the visible fuck is that sound? The remnants were the only ones that wormed its way into your brain. There's something much, much more. Oh, is that thing on the street, I think. That in there. Does this have anything? Yeah, it's just, just scrap basically. Take that though, and there's a lot of. Oh no, don't do that. Fucking better. That, take all these flares. Okay, turn the wipers off and let's fucking go. I don't know if driving over that thing is a good idea. It may just like lift us in the air, but that's about it. Actually, that might be a good idea because there's a bunch of uh, dummies over there. So that might be a good thing if we drive over it. Maybe? I don't know if we won't try. Alright, let's go. There's no pickup speed on this shit. Yep. Well, fuck. Shit. Did some damage to us. Boy, that purple shit. Don't like that sound. Ow! Stop it! There was something over there. There's a thing for us to pick up. That we could use to teleport back home. Somewhere around here. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to worry about it right now. I'm just going to go for it and get to this town. So, cars, car cosmetics. I'm guessing we have to find paint in order to paint whatever color we want. Or we find a certain color and we use it back at the shop. Okay. All right, we're almost at the, uh, the point where we can go into the next zone. This is driving up here. Perpetual stability junction condition. What does that even mean? All right. God, Sierra. Never wanted to think about this place ever again. Head toward town. Colossal Capi is smack dab in the middle of where Sierra used to be. You 
Can't miss it. Wait, how do we turn the headlights on, by the way? What is that? I don't know what that means, but there has to be some new way we could turn the headlights on, because... Uh, in cosmetic items back to the girl. We already read that. All right, so it's three pings up ahead. Uh, is there a reason you're driving straight towards the largest honking anomaly in the zone? You wanted to know if there's a speck of remnant energy in that car? This is how you do it. You're using Cappy to amplify the remnant signal. That's insane. Jesus Christ. Also, I don't think we've ever... Oh, I need... Driver, are you sure about this? I can't ah, see shit. Fine. Oh, wait. Fine? There it is. Look okay. at those radiation spikes that Colossal Cabby is still giving off after all these years. To achieve any sort of resonance, the driver's going to have to get right up against Cabby. I get you, Francis, but Oppie's got a point. Any remnant energy lingering in the car is too weak to detect with conventional methods. Really? Okay. You're gonna take her side? This isn't about sides. That's a good plan. I won't risk someone's life just so we can log another remnant sighting. The driver can make their own decision. I'm not forcing them to do anything. For all I care, they can lay down and wait until the instability takes them. That would get it's... them out of my hair much faster than all of these shenanigans. Oh, there's a thing over there. See, I don't know what will happen if we pull that thing out, though. And we'll we'll see what happens. Need one anyway. <laughs> oh fuck! Oh fuck! What what the fuck? Oh, we need to go. Oh, we need to go. We gotta go. We gotta go. Come on! Come on! Run! Oh no, don't drive! Fuck. Get the fuck in the car! Oh my god. Oh fuck, no! Stop fucking driving our car. The thing is, the thing is on our car. Oh, it's gone. That scared the shit out of me. I was like, yeah, what? What will happen if we get in that, take that thing out? Uh, I think it's right there. Bro. I don't like this. I need to get this thing though, but that thing, the other... It's on the opposite side. that get the fuck out of here Turn my freaking wipers off all right now to where do we go all right we gotta go fuck it I think we gotta go down here the car is all damaged and shit There's another one down there. I'm not gonna go for it because we already have one. Oh, but it's not enough. Fuck. All right, fuck it. Go for that one too. What the fuck is that? This is this is fucking creepy as shit.
I keep hearing like thinking that who the fuck do that? What the fuck is that? Fabric? Wait, let me dump my shit first before I even go in there. I think that's like stuff out of our inventory flying out. At least I'm guessing. Alright. What's that? Go and grab this thing and then run. Hi! Run. Run. Took y'all shit. What the f is another one of those damn things? Oh, fuck. Fuck. That shit off. That shit off. That shit off my car. Is that thing attracted to this? That's how it moves? Or no, maybe not. Come on. Come on. Turn the radio on. This is the worst music to be playing while dealing with all this crazy shit. This is when we need a boost. Fuck. Oh no. What is happening right now? God. Are we driving right in the middle of this thing? The car close to the anomaly. No response. Maybe you need to get closer to Cappy's core way up there. Can you find a way to high Fuck. ground? Okay. So we gotta go up there somehow. Okay. Hoping this doesn't destroy our car, but you know. Oh, the radio's up there. Turn that off. Make the focus. Vehicle protection compromise. Oh, fuck. Let me get out of this. Alright. We're out of that thing. Um, so we need to go probably over there. Which... Guessing up there, yeah. I'll go this way. The car is in not so good condition right now. I can't drive it for shit. I can't drive up this hill either. I'm thinking maybe we just go back the long way, because I, I, I don't think I can... Well, let's see. I don't think I'm able to drive up this hill. Let me see. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking I have to go the long way. Because... Link Gateway. Maybe if we go back. I think 
maybe if we go here, drive up there, we could probably get there. Put a waypoint. Granted, I could be doing this entirely wrong and it could be a shorter way to do it, but I am looking at the map. Alright, let's drive through this. Use a healing item. Do I have one? I think it's in the trunk. this drive up here I think right yep all right what is actually that heal because I'm in radiation. Fucking goddamn these things. I, s I swear these things are moving towards me. You know what? I'll stay here. I can't stay here. I'm too scared. <laughs> Alright, so if we go this way. Thinking that way. There is a ton of radiation though, which isn't good. Not too bad. Right, wait for this thing to pass. We made it to the waypoint, but we should now go up here. We really just follow the road. All right, yeah, follow the oh this is the wrong way. It's down this road here. Yeah. Fuck great. Fuck great. When is it gonna be daylight? Isn't there an old bridge around there somewhere? Maybe that'll get you the height you need. Yes, I know. That's what I'm trying to get to. I'm trying to get to that bridge. But which way are we going? Okay, we're going the right way. I should have brought that repair, buddy. Also, almost sounds like I have a flat tire, but I don't. Great. Alright, we gotta go this way. Ah, 
I'm amazed at how this vehicle is able to tackle all type of terrain. But it makes me wonder if like old station wagons like this were like just able to do this back in the day. Fuck, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh fuck, I have barely any health. I gotta get my first aid kit out the trunk. Hold on a second. Alright. Oh, I have a pair, buddy. Hold on. Oh, fuck. Hurry up. Uh, use. Use it. Can I use it? Oh, there we go. May have to use both of them. Oh no, we're good. We're good. Because I remember, like, so my, my grandparents owned, like, two Oldsmobiles. One was a rare one, one was a... No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Fuck. God damn it. Please stop. Please stop. things off. Get the fuck off my car. Fuck off. I saying oh yeah um yeah both those Oldsmobile vehicles are like super durable uh let's see now we go this way that's the bridge should also like check these and then vehicles for like supplies. Just think, actually no, this min radiation, so I can't no, risk it. I'm already losing health. What in the fuck is that? Oh. It's like interesting why that would appear here. Guess we'll take it. So I may be inviting shit if I do that. Go, 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 go. Oh, the hey, I need my car. I need my car. Oh my god, I need the car. Hey, stop it! Jesus Christ! Your ass in there, please. Close the door. Close the door, we gotta go. I think it's at max, just about, so. Well, it is max, I think. Do I have enough gas? Oh, I do. Okay. We got pretty much a quarter tank right now. Alright. So we're 
almost there. We just now gotta make a right. What is that? It's like a tower of some sort. This is long. You know what? I should actually repair this car. Because it's struggling right now. Putties are in a bag. All right. Um, that's there. Root door. Hear that. Lights out though. Alright. There that. What is it? yellow? It's one of them's a yellow the bumper. Oh my bumper's fine, I think. Gas cap. All right, car is in better shape a little bit. All right, so we just passed the road. right here somewhere. Oh, it might be this. Wait, before I even do this, let me get out. Look. Okay, so the bridge is... Oh, that's not the bridge. No, that is the bridge. It's just right there. But, like, I'm not seeing a road. I'm just blind. Or maybe. Huh. Get it. Maybe we should never came up here. This is obviously a piece of the bridge. I don't want to just... What if we save? Well, we can't. Fuck it, I'm just gonna drive down. This might be fucking risky. Beating up this car. Oh no. Activate emergency teleporter. Fuck. The Sierra Bridge used to go right through town before the. It's right uh, there. Next straight to Gabby. We should find it. Oh, of course we drop right over this damn thing. Oh, I thought we had to move on the teleport. Okay. We're good. Can I turn my headlights on? How do you do that? But I cannot see shit on the dashboard. Very right, well, fucked. Do 
avoid those things. Actually, I'm going the other way. Can I not avoid these stuff? I think we now good. Do not slide into that them things, please. Please don't do that. Alright. Still not close enough to Cappy. What now? How about uh, uh, launching the car into Cappy's core? I, 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 I'm, I'm sorry. What? What? No, it's simple. This woman is crazy. The driver jumps the car into the heart of the anomaly, and if I time it right, I'll open the gateway and extract them. And if you don't, I've run some calculations. I think it should be fine. Anyway, it's like they always say: what's an experiment without some risk of total annihilation? Who oh says that God, exactly? Woman. In no way, shape, or form should we be doing this. Well, but you know, if it's the only way. Yeah, you got this kid for it. This woman is crazy. Alright, any supplies? Transmitter. This. Let's find a task to installation plan for of uh, these newer compact wind converters, along with my resignation from Arda, effective immediately. It has become the favored pastime of my peers to gripe about the youth today. But I find myself sentimental. Maybe in the next generation will be the ones to right our wrongs. Their bright-eyed, bushy-tailed optimism reminds me of the early days when we thought limb technology's potential limitless. This machine is a step toward the, that original vision, where limb bridges the gap between materials given us, given to us our imagination. Okay, I think we just have to turn this on. Be good now. Transmission systems. Thought I lost you for a moment. Well, it all worked out, didn't it? The gateway got you out, and it looks like the ARC device is still intact with all the data it's recorded from your drive. And my plan worked. Cappy amplified the car signal, and it matches. Looks like Tobias and Francis found their remnant after all. Unfortunately, what they've been saying is true. The remnants drive their victims mad. Maybe that car, having sat dormant for this long, will give you a little more time. I'm sorry, I don't have better news for you. I'm still game to get you out of here. The faster you leave, the longer you'll have to enjoy the rest of your sanity. Great. Okay, well, yeah, none of the routes you've mapped so far leads to a way out. Why don't you head back out and chart some more? 
can get in touch with Tobias and Francis while you're out there. Okay. Well, we're going to take it as a stopping point for this session. But this was a lot of fun. Have you found this was the terrifying. Dumpster yet? It's behind the shop. If you're ever in dire need, pay it a visit. As much as the zone takes away, sometimes she also provides. I appreciate it. Anyway, we're going to take this as a good stopping point uh, for this session. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed the content, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below. And until next time, take care. Bye.